Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, I think you spoke. The internet's on- stupid. Uh, Brittany Renner didn't have no meltdown, homie. Uh, she she played on us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she was bull. Not nah, homie, she was bullshitting. You think so? I I was there, nigga. She wait 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 wait. She, was alcohol not involved? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, homie, she wasn't that drunk. Say, homie, you talking? You talking to something? You talking? Come on, homie, she wasn't that drunk. Damn. Because when she went outside, nigga, everything changed. When the cameras went off, and she got in her motherfucking Uber, nigga, she man, I said, oh, homie, she done played on everybody. Damn. So wait wait. On back in 2021, you had an interview with uh Say Cheese where you said if Brittany Renner ever hopped in my DM, oh I'm oh it's this is pound time. We going we going there. Yeah. The she gets put in front of you. Yeah. And she commences to now it's interesting because I was saying to myself that normally Brittany Renner is a more composed individual person. Um, and she's very calculated with her moves. Now, what he's saying, if that is true, then that is very calculating exactly as I said, she is a super villain. And she's very much aware of her surroundings and what she is. It was very abnormal to see her break down like that. But I also don't think, I also think there's some truth in it. I think there was some realness in that breakdown in terms of the fact that, you know, she personally, uh, you know, had some issues with those on the podcast. And, you know, when she started talking about, uh, you know, them not talking about PJ and, you know, how she herself had issues with, with men and stuff like that. Like it, there's some real stuff that was happening. Now the meltdown, fr- her throwing things and that, you know what he explains it as she was, she wanted to go viral. Maybe, maybe you know what I mean. Um, and she hadn't behaved like that with other podcasters, absolutely. But then she could have said she could have said some wild stuff and didn't have to be that wild to be going viral, right? She's gone viral before when she spoke with Kevin Samuels. She's gone viral when she did with Fresh and Fit. She's gone viral with uh, uh, academics. So did she need to throw bottles, bottles at this point in time to be viral? Hey, just do what she does. Yeah, fully present it. What's going on in your head, like where this person that you say, "Hey, man, if she ever," and she's right well, here she, now, uh, she's doing the shit. Oh uh, yeah, she gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, and, and, and then and then I thought, uh, I'm being used for viral content. Oh, uh, oh, uh, she's very clever. Mm. Uh, and she took advantage. Uh, when, when the last time have you seen a viral in, in the headlines? It's, it's been, been a while, right? It's been a while. Yeah, she took advantage, nigga. She checkmated it all of. Yeah. yeah, she checked made it all up, my nigga. Yeah, I, it took me, it took me, it took me half a day to realize that because, <laughs> because, because when she got in the Uber, I'm saying, man, what she just, nigga, she ain't the same person that was just in now. Mm. Nah, nigga. And then when I played back everything, uh, yeah, nah, homie, she uh, nigga, she was playing on us. Uh, and she got a good manager. Mm. Who this, was behind the scenes with uh, Shane? Uh, oh, that, that was Shannon Briggs. Yeah, Shannon Briggs. So it's interesting because I made a point about this. I said. Who the frick is her manager? Who the frick is like supporting her? Who's her friends around her? Why are they not pulling her off the stage? Well, if it's in accordance with what he's saying, it makes sense why they didn't pull off the stage because putting off the stage, they had a plan in mind. They had a plan in motion. I'm not saying for, this is what actually happened, but it would make sense why there was nobody there to support and be like, Brittany, calm down. And yet we could hear that he had his man, Charleston has his men around, yet we don't hear Brittany Renner's manager. That's weird. That's real weird. You know what I mean, and so I can see how that could I see how that could be plausible because I was wondering who's her team, who's supporting her. That like, this behavior is wild, it's off, it's off brand, like it's not helping nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a point there. Yeah, uh, got that. see, uh, it, it's just like when I pulled a gun on DJU. Yeah, homie, listen, now, nah, nigga, she Keep listen, listen, homie, she she played on her, my nigga. She the internet is a fool. Because now she's in the headlines. She is. Mm-hmm. And she booming like a motherfucker. Oh, she is. Uh, mm-hmm. Think about this, my nigga. How many girls you know got a multi-million dollar baby daddy? Hey. hey. Right? Uh, mo- most of us as parents, we'll make whatever sacrifices w- we'll make just so our children can have a great life. Sure. Her son got a, is taken care of forever. But there's a lot of women like that, though. We wouldn't praise them. Like, that's the only part I don't like. They're trying to praise Brittany Renner. I was like, but there's a lot of women who have a a, a baller, a basketball player, a, 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 a you know American footballer, you know who makes great money, baseball player, whatever, whatever, and they have a child by that person. That like, that's not uncommon. So are we praising those women too? I know we're not. I know we're not. But Brittany Renner's getting a pass because of course she's. How many women do you know has got a a baller, a baby dad that's a baller? We're not gonna pass on that. She seemed pretty impressed by you, though. She seemed uh, like visually impressed by you. Yeah, she, she, she. Uh, uh, her, her and Kevin Gates got a got a good relationship. So, so Kevin Gates speak real fun to me. So, uh, 
and in her mind, I'm a real nigga. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, the gun. <laughs> Nigga, she good. So you weren't in on it at the time of though. You like uh, it's happening nigga, in real uh, time. So no, 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 none of us know each other, homie. I don't. I don't know. You're guy. very respectful. Uh, You're I'm, very I'm respectful. Very, uh, homie, I, 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 I had to peep game because if you watch the whole interview, uh, she went into that role. So nigga, everything was peaceful, cool, dialoguing, uh, very intellectual, uh, very good. Right. So uh, because I was asking, when did she, when did this flip come? Because in the beginning. She was very composed. There was nothing about a breakdown coming. Now, of course, drink can now drink can obviously reveal that, and drink can over, opens you open you to that point. But in the beginning, she was very calculated, very proposed, very composed, being her usual Britney Renner self. She, nigga, she saw by the line of questioning what where they trying to go. So, nigga, yeah. she went in the role. It ain't long, nigga. Listen, <laughs> uh, she played on me. She played on on the two guys in the Danza Project. She played on everybody in that room to get her desired outcomes. So uh, and she played on the internet. So on so a Charleston used, White she level, used, she used Charleston White lap dancing and shit on me for a viral moment. Uh, yeah, nah, <laughs> homie. But even if she used it for a viral moment, you, you know your son's gonna see that though. So uh, there's a there's a there's a downfall to it. Where as much as as much as it may it may work in her favor to get the attention, at what cost though? At what cost? At what cost does the attention come at? At what cost are you willing to sacrifice to get this attention? That's the that's the biggie part that she has to take into account. Yeah, she may have used you. Maybe she got maybe she got on top of you, but there's a cost to this behavior. Oh, uh, because because nigga, she walked away in the dark, disappeared. We'll mm. never see her again. Do you give her kudos for the, the, the play she did? Like for the internet to be talking about all the shit that happened. Uh, you give her credit for like she pulled the charts away. Uh let me just say this, homie. Uh she way sharper than what y'all think she is. Mm. Uh, everybody typing talking about nah, homie, she ain't no dean back. <laughs> uh nigga, how many bitches or how many hoes you know? Got a multi-millionaire baby daddy. How the fuck she dumb? Yeah. And half you whole got a nigga that's behind on child support. How she dumb and half you whole fucking a nigga that can't even pay the bills? Man, this whole plan on stage, man. Mm. And that whole know how to tap into her inner whole spirit and hope to get where she trying to go. Mm. Nigga, her son is taking care of for the rest of his motherfucking life, nigga. His daddy just got a 30, what a down to what? 48 kind of, million or something? Come on now. 48 million. The more daddy get in, he the first born baby. Yeah. She ain't no dumb bra, my nigga. No. So I had to sit back and look at this shit, my nigga. It's a fair point. I'm not gonna lie to you not on the money situation, but you described only money. Um, how does that benefit the young man having a mother who's doing what she's doing? I'm, uh, you know, getting on top of you, having breakdowns on a situation. Is that going to affect him mentally? You have to think of it from that perspective too. Look, I've told you guys already about having a mom that was schizophrenic. When you, there's no benefit, no matter how much money you have, there's no benefit that's going to ease the comfort of not being able to connect with your mother. Let's let's not try to downgrade the fact that, you know, just because you've got money, that means is anything of uh, any worth. Of course it's worth something because money is what we use to move around. But the effects of that individual person cannot be ca cannot be counted by the financial cost. Cannot. You know what I mean? But I'm going to leave it there. Let you guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, send, me, send me your thoughts down below in the comment section.